Hey guys, welcome back to Dragon Melee. Today we got a Lord of the Rings Tales of Middle Earth set booster box we're gonna crack open. Get some nice Lord of the Rings cards. So I picked these boxes up from Dibs at Underworld Games in, in Nottingham. Make sure you, make sure you check them out. And we'll show you cracking. We got our box topper, which we will save for last. Hopefully I'll re I will remember. Let's get these bad boys out. Probably the number one most hyped set for me personally because I am a Lord of the Rings nerd. Well, I'm sure many of you are as well. So, 32 packs, let's get going. Obviously, one of one is not gonna happen here, but I don't suppose, I suppose the other serializers are only in the collectors. So, we're not looking for any of those. Just gonna be looking for some nice, Lord of the Rings flavor. It's nice Frodo, Sam, and Sam. Oh, sorry. Got Frodo, Gollum, and Sam all beside each other. We got Shire Sheriff in the, I don't know what you even call these, montage, showcase? A montage, mosaic, I don't know. The frame, they make a, a scene, a scene card, probably what it's called. And uh, do we keep these on the frame? I don't know. Uh, so our rare is press the enemy, return target spell or non land permanent to its owner's con opponent's control, and um, wait, hang on, return target spell or non land permanent in opponent controls to its owner's hand. You may cast into a sorcery spell with an equal or less amount of value from your hand that paid its mana cost. Gross. Rare number one, We've got a foil common and an orc army. Nice full art land. Rosy Cotton, Pippin, and Mary both together again. Another scene card, Knights of Dol Amroth. These guys are part of the really big, really big one, I think. So that's cool. Uh, Saradoc, Master of Buckland. Pretty sure this guy is the Jumpstart exclusive. Which is funny because you open it in a set box. Oh, <laughs> starting off. <clears throat> back two. We got the one ring. That's pretty good. Surprisingly, I think, even though it is, you know, you got many different versions of this and you get a version in the, bu the bundle, still one of the most expensive cards in the set. We get another uh, foil common and a ring token. Okay, so starting off pretty good. That's uh, the one ring. It's the first mythic. Very, very fitting, I guess. Another nice full art mountain. A Bilbo, Barrel Blade, Frodo. We got Rosy Cotton in the scene card, which I think is. If we take this guy. Look at that. We already got two parts. Pretty cool. And our rare is Frodo. It's everyone's being the level up kind of guy. Which is pretty cool. And a foil uncommon Saruman the White, which is a blue card. And a tentacle token. It's good for the, the watcher in the water. Nice swamp, got Mordor. Mirkwood Bats, stupidly good card, especially yet yeah, common. Mouth of Sauron, Ugluk of the White Hand, Gorbag of Minas Morgul. And we got a nasty end in the scene card. Aragon, company leader in scene as well, very nice. 
When the ring tempts you, choose a creature. If you choose a creature other than Aragon, company leader, that's your ring bearer. Put your choice of a counter from among First Strike, Limp Vigilance, Death Touch, and Lifelink on Aragorn. Whenever you put one or more counters on Aragorn, put one of each of those kinds of counters on up to one other target creature. So, pretty cool. We got Mithril Coat, second rare. That's a pretty good one as well. Flash Indestructible when it ETBs, attach it to legendary creature you control, and the equipped creature has Indestructible. It's a nice way to you save, your, save your creature. Now we got Rosie again. Foil this time. Not bad. And we got a list card. Shatterstorm. Don't know why this is here. Destroy all artifacts. Can't be regenerated. Well, I guess. Destroy artifacts, right? Destroy the ring. Except it's instructable. <laughs> okay. Well, we got a signed art card for this. I can't remember the name of this dragon, but I'm pretty sure it's a pretty good one. We got a planes featuring Rohan. Good column. We got Sam. We got Tale of Tunivale. And Gift of Strands. Rising of the Day. Another one of the cards from the big scene. It's pretty cool. Creatures you can draw haste. Legendaries get plus one plus oh. Horn of Gondor. Which I think is pretty good when, when it enters the battlefield, you make a human. And pay three mana tablet to make X humans, where X is the number of humans you control. So, humans for days. And a foil common, and a add card, I guess. Oh. Okay, let's have another mythic. That'd be nice. Common on commons, Gandalf from the Shire, Elrond. Houses of Brunin. Horses of Brunin, I should say. Pippin's Bravery. Part of a scene card. I'm not sure which one this is part of. But I'm sure we'll find out. We got Boromir. This is our first um, kind of the ring showcase treatment, I guess, where he's trying to take the ring from Frodo. Which is pretty cool. Put those there. We got Lotho. The Corrupt the Hobbit. And a full common, and a token. Full mountain, in regular frame. And commons, and drop base in long list of the ends with six chapters, pretty, pretty, pretty crazy. And just restoration, quick beam, upstart ent. Ferocious Fell Beast, another one from the big scene, which is cool. Might get to build the whole thing. Gandalf the Grey in Simic. And a foil, Grey Havens. Which is a pretty good land, actually. You can ETB Scribe one, adds colorless mana anyway. And then you can add one mana of any color among the legendary creatures in your graveyard. So I'm doing it in a legendary deck, especially if it's got a graveyard theme. Nice Mountain, Landraval, Melendor, and Gwaiir, the three. Three birds, it's nice. Strange Scolding, You Cannot Pass, Knights of Dol Amroth again. We got Legolas, Master Archer, Reach 1 4. Whenever you cast a spell that targets Legolas, Master Archer, put a plus one on him. Whenever you cast a spell that targets a creature you don't control, Legolas deals damage to its power, equal to its power, to one target creature. Pretty good. And a full common, and a creepy Shelob feed token. Okay. Nice swamp. Saruman, Krishnak, Gothmog, another part of the big scene. We got like three or four pieces of it. Getting close. Oh, and another one. Mirkwood Bats, again, really good card. And in the scene, Flart. Fangorn, Tree Shepherd, also known as Treebeard. 
Very cool. Tree folk you control uh, vigilance. Whenever one or more tree folk you can you control attack and twice that much green mana. You don't lose unspent green mana as steps and phases end, which is pretty bonkers. Oh, this is a good hit. <laughs> Orcish Bowmasters in the scene. The scene aren't. In foil. That's pretty good. That's a hot, hot hit. I think that's one of the few cards in this set that's actually going to potentially see modern play. Right. Threema, Fireth, AMAR. Many partings. Nice scene art again. Looking for the Grey Havens. Ooh, Watcher in the Water is our second mythic. So, 5 mana Kraken is a 9 9, and it enters the battlefield tapped with 9 stun counters on it. Whenever you draw a card during an opponent's turn, create a 1 1 blue tentacle creature token, which we got already, we got the token. And then, whenever a tentacle you control dies, untap up to 1 target Kraken, and put a stun counter on to 1 target non land permanent. So, interesting. And a foil uncommon, and we got another list card, a common. Spurts one. Weird. Whoop. Okay. Last of the first stack. Eleanor, art card. A lot of legends. There's Strider. Now Legolas in the Showcase ring treatment. We got a mythic from the commander sets. Gandalf, Westward, Voyager. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we got a second Bowmaster. And another nice hit. Regular frame, non foil this time. And Dunland Crabine, foil common. And a treasure token. Uh, nothing there. A lot of black. Lash of the Balrog. Another scene card from the Bridge of Cathadoom. Smeagol Helpful Guide. I think this is actually a pretty good card. The beginning of your end step, if a creature died on your control this turn, the ring tempts you. Whatever the ring tempts you, target upon a real card from the top of their library until they reveal a land card. Put that card onto the battlefield tapped under your control and the rest into their graveyard. It's pretty, pretty good. Full common, full common rather, and a ring token. Just keep these up here. Ooh, we got, there's the golem again, Smeagol Helpful Guide with a signed art card. It's nice, shame they're not worth much. A mountain, some commons, uncommons, poor Mir's death, it's funny. Another voracious fell beast. Ooh, we got Barador. I think this is actually part of the big scene as well. It's like the top right. That's pretty nice. Barador enters the battle of tap unless you control a legendary creature. And it adds a black mana. And you can pay twice X and black and tap it to a mass X. Activate only if a creature died this turn. Second rare, we got Shelob, Child of Mongoliant. I think this thing's pretty crazy. Six mana, eight eight, death touch, ward two. Other spotters you control have death touch and ward two. Whenever another creature dealt damage by, de bleh, bleh. whenever another creature dealt damage this turn by a spider you control dies, create a token that's copy of that creature except it's a food token, food artifact with, sack it for food, sack it for, for life, and loses all the card types. That's pretty, pretty tasty flavor. All right, we got triple rare pack. Was that? Oh, maybe not. Oh, well, it's a bad door. Uh, foil, Call of the Ring. At the beginning of your keep, the ring tempts you. Whenever you choose a creature as your ring bearer, you may pay two life if you do draw a card. Pretty good. That's our first foil rare, I think. Oh, I suppose that's a foil rare. There's the Orcish Bowmasters. Well. But first foil rare, that's just normal. Okay. Aim here. Island, some commons, uncommons, golems bite, 
Gandalf's sanction. Council of Liberation. You got Myriadic Brandy Buck in his ring treatment. I'm not sure what this one is supposed to depict. And maybe him leaving the Shire or something. Oh, we got another mythic from the Commander decks. Sam, Loyal Attendant, partners with Frodo. Makes food token. This guy's pretty good in the food deck, to be honest. We got Gimli, Mournful Adventurer. And three mana, three two. When Gimli, Mournful Adventurer, Gimli, Mournful Adventurer has in struggle, as long as you, as long as two or more creatures died on your control turn. Whenever another creature you control dies, put a plus one plus one counter on Gimli. When this ability resolves for the third time this turn, Gimli fights a creature you don't control. Pretty cool. A foil com uncommon and a token. Almost halfway through. I think we're doing good. Foil Island, pretty cool. And commons. Uncommons, you have Denethor, Old Man Willow, Rise of the Night, Rise of the Witch King, I should say. Farmer, Field Commander, the Uncommon Farmer, on a white guy. In the Ring Treatment, Oof. Palantir of Orthanc, another mythic. Legendary Artifact. Three mana. At the beginning of your end step, put an Influence Counter on the Palantir of Orthanc in Scry 2. Then target opponent may have you draw a card. If that player doesn't, you mill X cards, or X is the number of Influence Counters on Palantir of Orthanc. That player loses life equal to the total mana value of those cards. Cards. So, pretty sneaky little, little thingy, I guess. Make people give you, give you cards. Make them lose life. Uh, foil common Stone of Erect, which is actually kind of decent. One mana, um, Graveyard Hate. If a creature your opponent control would die, exile instead. Then you can pay two, sack it to exile someone's graveyard. So that's always useful. We've got a list of cards, looks like, in the back. Well, that's the Palantir again. Here's our planes, our uncommons, another stone, the Bath Song, Grey Havens. Glorfindale, Gandalf, friend of the Shire, in the ring treatment. King of the Oathbreakers, so King of the Dead. This is a pretty good card as well for spirits. If you're interested in playing a spirits deck, this guy's a pretty good option. Foil Oliphant in the scene art. Again, this is part of the big one, so we got another one. Almost five or six of them now. It's pretty good. None of the, the big heavy hitter ones, I think, though. Um, Orcish Artillery. From the list, uh, I'll call him. Okay, not a island. Our own commons. Arwen, Omdomniel, Kelborn the Wise, Mirror of Galadriel. Another nasty end in the scene art. Now oh, here's our first Nazgul. If I am correct. Looks like the the art looks like it's the Nazgul that used to be a a red room. That's what it looks like anyway. That's cool. I'm gonna get nine of them. A rare fall of Gilgalad. It's pretty good. Two mana, scry two. Then put two plus muscle counters on for creature control. Then number three, until end of turn, target creature you control gains. When this creature dies, draw two cards. Then that creature fights the one creature. Nice. Uh, Pretty white farmer, uncommon or common foil, <coughs> and a tip card. Ooh, another list card. Okay, let's get through this stuff. Do the nine blades, cool. Legless counter of kills, friendly rivalry at Gimli, nice. Uh, Rising of the day, another Oliphant, non foil this time. Ooh, Delighted Halfling. This is a good hit. This is basically Cavern of Souls on a little creature. Can't go wrong with that. Uh, full common. What a rare from the list. Ghost Lord of Fugi? Fugue? It is, un it is unblockable. And whenever Ghost Lord of Fugue deals combat damage to a player, that player reveals his or her hand. Choose a card from it, that player removes that card from the game. 
Okay, five, five mana, five pips. Hybrid pips, be crazy. It is technically rare, so I'll put it there. So five, five mythics of the minute, two of which are from Commander decks. So we get some more hits would be nice. Shadow facts, show us the meaning of haste, and he does. It says it right there. Very good. Inside joke. We have build a pony, best boy. We got some more Mirkwood Baps in the scene art, and then we got one ring to rule them all. The ring tempts you. Then each player mills cards equal to your ring bearer's power. Destroy all non-legendary creatures. For each opponent, each opponent loses one life for each creature card in that player's graveyard. That can be pretty good. And we got a foil nimble hobbit and an orc army. Foil Island, that is good. Uncommons, uncommons, just the head in. Firemere, which I think we got already. Dokmog, which we got already in the scene. We got Sauron the Necromancer. Five mana, four four, a menace. Whenever he attacks, exile target creature card from your graveyard to create a tapped and attacking token that's a copy of that card, except it's a 3 3 black wraith with menace. At the beginning of your turn, exile that token unless Sauron is a ring bearer. That can be good, I guess, if you've got stuff in your graveyard. And a four uncommon and a token. Okay. There's commons and uncommons again. Nothing crazy. Another Gandalf in the ring treatment. Flowering of the White Tree, this is pretty good. Two mana, legendary enchantment. Legendary creature you control get plus two, plus one, and have board one. Non-legendary creature you control get plus one, plus one. Which is pretty good. If you have a legendary deck, could be good. Uh, many parties in the scene art in foil, which is nice. I think we have it already though. And a nice little food token. Alrighty, skip through most of these now. Dune Dine Craven. Don't think we have this in the scene art yet, which is nice. I think it's part of the Isengard one. There's Eleanor Gardner, which I think is part of the Jumpstart again. We got Mines of Moria, it's a nice land. Um, enters tapped unless you control a legendary creature. Taps add red, and you can pay three and tap it to exile three cards from your graveyard to create two treasure tokens, which is pretty powerful, I think. And shortcut the mushrooms and the ring token. All right, we're getting close enough to the end here. Forest, Saruman, Krishnak, Legolas, Count of Kills. Count. Did we get him? I think we might have. Samwise Gamgee, more makes more food. And Lash of the Balrog and a food token. Island. Let's skip through these guys. See where the good stuff is. Quick beam in the scene art. Again, I think it's part of the Isengard scene. Another Barador. This time in normal frame, non foil. And Prince Imrahil the Fair. Again, from the big scene. So that's cool. In foil as well. And a food token. Got another list. Oh, and another sign. That's a third sign card. Technically not signed, but you know. And a four planes, which looks very nice. Get through these guys. There's another Mary in his ring frame. Another Nazgul, which is cool. Ooh, Sauron, the Dark Lord. Another mythic. This guy seems pretty crazy. So six mana, seven, six. Ward, sacrifice, legendary artifact, or legendary creature. That's going to be. Tricky to do most of those. And whenever an opponent casts a spell, a mass one, a mass orcs one rather. Whenever an army you control does combat damage to a player, the ring tempts you. 
Whenever the ring tempts you, you may discard your hand. If you do, draw four cards. I think this guy's pretty powerful. But he should be, I suppose. Oh, stitch together. That's pretty fun. It's a nice little card in the list. Okay. Schwab. Scritch through these. Last of the Balrog, which we have. We got Mary, a squire of Rohan, a Boros 2 2 with haste. Whenever or he has first strike as long as he's equipped, and whenever you attack with Mary and another legendary creature, draw a card. Not too bad. Oh, the Grey Host with a smog token. That might be a bit hard to get, I guess. Maybe that's a rare token. Alright, four packs left. Let's see if there's any more spice. A swamp. The Raleigh font. Dur Doors of Durin. Nice little rare. Foil common and a treasure. Go to their list. Normal planes. We got Elrond, don't think we caught him yet. And um, in the ring treatment. AMR, Marshal of Rohan, 4 mana, 4-4 four, four, haste, whenever one or more attacking legendary creature you control die, on top of all creatures you control after this phase of additional combat. This triggers only once each turn. It's kind of strange, maybe you need to like have a way to sack a legendary to get the extra combat. Ooh, this is a good hit. Aragon the Unifier, in the frame, the ring frame, in foil. That is pretty good. Nice mythic. So whenever you cast a white spell, create a 1-1 one, one white human soldier creature token. Whenever you cast a blue spell, scry 2. Whenever you cast a red spell, Aragon the Uniter deals 3 damage to target opponent. Whenever you cast a green spell, target creature gets plus 4, plus 4 till end of turn. So that's pretty cool. If you can play this with just loads of multi-color cards, you just get so many triggers with this. Just cool. And we got another list rare in Gaia's Revenge. Cool. That's not too bad. Two packs left, and then we'll get to the box topper. So we're going to go through, through these. Knights of Dol Amroth, the third one of those. Boromir, I think this is quite a good card. 3 mana, 3 3 Vigilance. If an opponent casts a spell with no mana was meant to cast, it counter it, which is good. And then sacrifice Boromir. Creature control get indestructible within a turn, and the ring tempts you. Nice little. And utility piece. And Strider, the uncommon in foil. Last pack. See if there's any last spice in the deck. Or in the box, I do say. Another many partings. Born upon the wind. You may cast spells as though they had flash. Draw a card. And a full common and a food. Let's do the box topper. I think there's 30 cards you can get in here, and one of them, or a few of them, are not worth a lot compared to some other ones. But let's see what we get. Haneth Anun? Anun? Reflecting Pool? That's not a bad hit. Reflecting Pool? Pretty good land. So, yeah, not bad. So, there you go. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.